Moses tells us in Deuteronomy, fear not, don't be dismayed, the Lord's our God. I want to just say a couple of things about where we are as a school, the deployment of our new cyber uh, initiative for our students. Uh, but first I want to say that God is sovereign, he's in control, we're at peace. We're also just very thankful for an awesome, awesome staff that is putting together a very quality uh, initiative here for your children. Uh, over the next couple days, uh, we will be deploying our new cyber classes and uh, the start date is next Monday. That's the check-in. But before that happens, uh, you are going to get a letter from your child's teacher. They're going to have um, an announcement, um, a, uh, assignments, activities, and assessments. And you're, you're going to have it laid out for you exactly what's required of your child in each of his or her subjects. You know, uh, our hope is that during a difficult um, kind of situation that we're going to do our very best in spite of the fact that the future is a little bit uncertain. Uh, we are not closing school. In fact, we're ramping it up. And uh, we're going to pro provide direction, something simple uh, for you. It's a universal platform. It's Google Classroom, so all your children's classes will be in Google Classroom. Uh, on uh, the weekend, you should log on and uh, check in, and it will give you a chance to see a little bit about what's happening. Most of the course content is going to come and be rolled out as the week and weeks progress. Um, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming at first for some of you because maybe you're not technologically um, advanced. Uh, maybe your kids know more than you do, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to work at this together. Um, I want to close just by saying one thing. Uh, in the book of Acts, in chapter 27, Paul ends up on a ship. There's a great wind, a northeast wind that blows across the Mediterranean. It's called Euroclidon. And uh, he anticipates that the, the ship is going to have troubles. And uh, this is what he says. But now I urge you to keep up your courage because not one of you will be lost. Only the ship will be destroyed. Last night, an angel of God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood beside me and said, do not be afraid. So it is our hope that as we uh, educate your children together, continuing our partnership, maybe in a little bit different of a role, that you are not afraid and uh, just take it as it comes. We're here to help you and support you. The teachers are excited. We're taking our school to another level. God bless you. And remember what God said to Paul, do not be afraid.